my name is René Kremers and I just played a masterclass in clinic here in Potsdam uh, at the musical high school here. And um, I'm with my instruments here, which is a sonar drum kit and I play Paiste cymbals and I play Agner drum sticks and uh, Remo drum heads and many brands and uh, I have endorsements for all those instruments but um, I was asked to explain a little about the drum kit and the cymbals that I use. Um, what I have is a um, 22 inch swish which helps me to make a nice soft deeper smooth sound. I'm really much a sound drummer and I make use of this right cymbal which is half dry but also sustaining because of the sizzle. And then this again gives rest and peace. This I can play a little bit more aggressive if I want. I can play it as a right. And I can play loud crushes of course. But it still sounds a little bit dark. And even sometimes I make use of just this in order to be able to play sounds on the cymbal without attack in a very short uh, sustain and then even the symbol is drier that's what i like especially to combine it with the melodies for instance I like to work with effects, to work with melody. This hi hat is the Formula 6 tool, as you can see, and um, the cheek is also a little bit dark. That's what I like. All my symbols are a little bit dark, but also there is a lot of brilliance in it as well. Well, and with those symbols, I have to play months to create. Uh, an atmosphere and a feeling that I can write and play it uh, uh, on my way. That takes time. It takes sometimes it takes half a year or even longer. Mm -hmm. So when I get this type of swish, uh, maybe the first week I don't really like it very much. In the second week I start to like it, and after four weeks I'm in love with it because I know how to handle it. And that takes time always. Mm -hmm. Like also this drum kit. Um, this is. Um, uh, a bit new because I, I got it about a year ago and now I'm in love with it because now I know how it reacts. I tuned it really high, for me really high. Um, for me it was new because I always played um, dark sounding drum kits on which I could play uh, roots music, Americana, New Orleans, New Orleans and that sounded deep and dark and this sounds high and, and, and they have to play it completely different but that's what I like. Thank you. 
also make, I like to make use of uh, percussion stuff. I showed you this already. I can also put it on a snare, of course. This is snare normally. Sometimes I play this. Very dry. For instance, when I play stuff like um, Jungle, one, two, three. And so on. For the very fast grooves, I need a damped snare drum. Sometimes I make use of this cowbell, which is pretty dry because it's like playing here, but that, that's, why, that's why I like it. I can, I can uh, create bounces in the way I like them. Triplets, sixteenths, quintlets. So I'm very much searching all the time. This changes the hi-hat sound very much. Deeper. Yeah, this. Sorry. It's an effect, of course. But when I play, I want to change all the time from groove playing to effects playing and then melodic playing. And that's what I work on all the time. Mm. Um, What's the kit? What are the drums? The drums are the, uh, from the vintage series of Sonar. They actually made them already in the 50s and uh, in, in the last century. Um, but they're new now. But uh, like, it's, like the word says, vintage, old style, new um, again. The sizes here are? The sizes is 20 uh, inch bass drum, 20 by 14 I think. This is a 12-inch tom-tom, a 14-inch floor tom, and a deeper snare drum. I don't know exactly what the sizes are, but if you would be interested, you can find it on the internet, of course. Looks like six. Six, six. 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 Yeah, it's, it's, it's not six. I think oh. it's five, uh, five and three and a half. fourth. Five. Oh. Oh. Four. Yeah, Something yeah. Like that. Yeah. yeah, and I'm really uh, satisfied with this drum kit. That one is also sonar. That one is also a vintage series, but this one is tuned completely different. I tuned it low, like I said already, and um, the low tuning, together with jingles and sizzles, this is um, all minor stuff that I uh, like to use. And um, I want to create a, a, a sound which is deep and dark. So I make use of uh, damping rings, as you can see. Because they kill the overtones. And I tuned it already low, but without overtones, it's really uh, dark. This one as well. So you don't hear that much high frequencies. That makes it deep and dark. And the snare, I tuned it deep as well. So when I play grooves, slow music, that's what I like.
Um, this one is tuned high because I don't want to play for, um, for more than 10 minutes in a slow feel. I want to have this very tight snare drum sound. So this is much more fitter, and this one is uh, slower. Mm -hmm. And the cymbals are also, this is dark. This is 15 inch Hyatt from the Master Series. Cool Hyatt, and uh, as you hear, it's already dark, deep. This one is pretty dry. Also from the Master Series, dark right. A nice pin, a nice attack, and a dark sustain. Crashes. Second. Uh, really cool. And this one, this swish as well. Uh, and this is a stack. Mm -hmm. Just I just a, a, a splash and a symbol from the uh, what was it called? It was an effect symbol actually. <laughs> and, uh, like everybody, you search for a stack that works for you. This is a trash set, which is mm -hmm. pretty old, and uh, this is a new line series um, splash. Mm -hmm. But in a way, they fit together good, and I. It's an effect, and I can turn this a little bit. I can turn it and make it shorter if I want. And that's what I use sometimes. And uh, yeah, that's that's what and it's about. The, the bell, right? Okay, the bells. This is a Paiste effect symbol, effect bell, and uh, a very cool one because it sounds pretty warm. Yeah. PSTX Pure Bell, that was the name. Yeah. Pure Bell. Pure Bell. They have two sizes, I think. And this one is from a Roto Tom. Mm -hmm. A ring. Yeah. And it rings very nice too. Yeah. 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 And these are Cortales actually. Now they here they are called sound discs and they don't make them as a sound disc anymore, but they make them as Crotale, which sounds almost the same. And this is, of course, Crusher. And the okay. thing is, and of course, here yeah, chimes. The thing is, here, here. So I have a lot of sounds, and, and I study a lot and try to integrate them in my playing. Mm -hmm. And I, I try always to combine it with the beats and the groove. For instance, one last. And then sometimes I find combinations uh, which which I really like, and then I um, study them some more and integrate it in my programs. And the drums, the actual shell set, is different to the other one, right? No, it's the same, but this is the first finish they made. Mm -hmm. So now they only made that finish, where and, and this was the first um, mm -hmm. they made. Um, it's it's all it's actually completely the same. Only the sizes are different. This is a 22-inch bass drum, mm -hmm. and a 16-inch floor tom, and a 12-inch tom tom, and the same snare as there, but tuned completely different. Mm -hmm. And this is a small smaller size. 
but they're almost in the same de depth. So, so, but that tune is, like I said, the tune is pretty high and it's pretty low. Yeah. And like I said, at home I, I also have a, uh, an SQ2 drum set, which is a pff, high level, a really fantastic drum set. And when I came, became this one, um, I had first um, difficulties in getting used to it. But after a year, I became complete, I fell in love completely because this deep, dark sound I'm really liking at the moment. And uh, maybe in, in five years, I'll start to play again on the SQ2 again. Well, I'm, I'm very happy with the equipment. And they, they, um, I, I have already since 1991 the best service from Sonar and the best service from Paiste. I'm really happy with the material and uh, I can uh, play how that I like. I can play it with these instruments. All my ideas work out fine with this group. One well, last thing, the heads. Okay, these are regular ambassador. This one as well. But these are the sweat, ambassador sweat. They are a little bit um, deeper. Very long, so I can play them sometimes for even half a year or, or longer, and I don't change that often the drum heads because I like it when they are not sounding new. I like it when they're sounding old for this drum kit, of course. On that one, I don't use the swag, but I use the regular ambassador drum heads. And here I change the heads more often because this should sound uh, pretty much. Uh, uh, fit and, 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 and healthy, I would mm -hmm. say. What about sticks? Oh, I changed to Agner sticks. Mm -hmm. And uh, they made the Drumbassador series because I'm one of the Drumbassadors. Yeah, we know it. <laughs> and um, they're very cool. Wim uh, de Vries is playing the same sticks as I do, so we're very happy with Agner. Thanks so yeah, Thank you. This. You're welcome, and um, it was a great pleasure for me to get the opportunity to play here in Potsdam. Yeah. Very interested people. It was great. Thank you. Me. Thank you. Okay.